Yeah, so this appears to be a common area for a gathering. And uh, I took some stills through here, but it goes around, but then there are um, pathways in between some of the trees. So I think you can, it's actually kind of like a pull through spot. Um, the furthest one over there appeared to be a pull through. Uh, it right in the center there that appears to be like you could use it as a pull through spot as well as right through here um, That is an area over there where it looks like you know, you could just kind of pull over in your rig so uh, In essence a pull through so and this, this area is pretty big It, it allows for uh, of course you don't that's a social area, but this area here is the roadway and the uh, pass throughs are they're very wide and the trees have been limbed up so looking good and so this is the entry coming into the loop which i was just talking about and it's quite wide so it allows for uh, big rigs or uh, trucks and trailers to be able to make the turns so this area looks quite nice it's pretty flat uh, that sign over there says units 1 through 3 and units 4 through 15. So each loop is about 5 spots. We just saw two rigs pull in trucks and trailers, so we're thinking they're arriving. Our plan is to arrive on Monday. I'll send the dates out in separate emails. Okay, so this is the road and the approach. This is, you know, Wentworth Springs Ice House Road coming in. So instead of taking the right to go up Ice House to Loon Lake, you go 3.8 miles further and you arrive here. And again, this is the turn in. It's very big and wide. Airport flat campground. My Google Maps nav on my phone found this and we navigated to it. Uh, it stands F-150. The navigation did not find it. We don't have it hooked up to Sirius. So it was just the onboard. There's Stan. So walking in deeper, this is a, a big pullout area. This is the road. You can see Mr. Stanley walking down the road. Those, so this is a big pullout where you could have a large family group uh, with their rigs parked here. So and right across the way from uh, recycling, dumpsters, and labs. And it's all pit toilets. There is no water. Be sure to bring plenty of water. You may get water out of Gurley Creek and it is recommended that you boil it before using. Let's see, this is what appears to be a big wide flat area for uh, tent campers. And again, walking back in to where our truck is parked. We're going to have a picnic lunch today. So it's pretty nice. Um, it looks, it's, it's spread out and it's spacious, but it's really not, you don't get overly worked walking to visit our friends. So this looks pretty nice. I think I've counted either three or four 